Hi everybody, this is Zap, and welcome to my first YouTube video. This is a big deal for me. Um, really kind of learning this process on the fly. I'm very grateful you took the time to even watch this. Uh, if you like it, that's great. If not, any kind of thoughts or criticism on the process, I mean, I, I want to learn how to do this. I want to provide good content for you. Uh, please excuse the audio camera quality at this point. Kind of working with what I got. So I hope in time that I can uh, really improve upon this. So about me, I've been out of this game for about 15 years and I've gotten back into collecting, uh, playing the game, been playing a lot of it on the Switch and I've kind of fallen in love with it again. I've really forgotten the thrill of opening a pack, the excitement of getting that great card, that, that pool that you just, that kind of changes your whole day. It's like, oh man, I, I got this, I got this card, this is great. So, I've, uh, I've got some stuff to open here for you, um, but first I just kind of want to show you the past two weeks or so I've been collecting, and I got a couple of pretty interesting cards that I wanted to share. Uh, first, from a Walmart Metal Raiders mystery box, I got an ultra rare, 10, uh, graded 10, uh, Beckett Time Wizard. So I know uh, Beckett and PSA are the ones that do a lot of the grading. I'm not too familiar with the difference between them, if one's significantly better than the other, but that's that. I got a Cosmo Dark Destroyer, which according to TCG Player is a pretty valuable card. I don't know much about this set yet, so kind of winging it up there, but it seems pretty cool. Another card that I am familiar with, I grew up with this card, this is one of the uh, first sets I really got involved with, was a Gate Guardian. Also pulled this from an Unlimited Metal Raiders pack, uh, Secret Rare. I immediately sleeved this and tossed it in a top loader. And um, this one was a pretty big deal for me. This was like my first pool that I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, I remember this. This is great. Looks great. Yada, yada, yada. And uh, yeah, uh, that was uh, that was a big deal for me a couple, but about a week or so ago. And then um, the biggest pool for me, I think that really was the push I needed to get involved with this, was uh, 10,000 Dragon. I bought a Battle Legends Armageddon booster, pop, booster box from a local card shop. And um, this was the last pack in the box. And uh, yeah, this was pretty, uh, pretty incredible. Um, finding out what that card's worth, um, the collector's value of it, just how beautiful it is. It was absolutely uh, fantastic. Just fantastic. So um, kind of what I want to do here is introduce the boxes that I'm going to be opening and then explain uh, how my process is going to go. So, for my first opening, I have uh, two of these Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game Chaos Boxes. Now, this wasn't originally going to be my first opening. I wanted to do a handful of 2019 Gold Sarcophagus tins, um, but I came across these at uh, Walmart earlier today and I was picking up some other items, and they just uh, I hadn't seen these before, and they piqued my interest for 20 bucks. I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll grab two of them and uh, kind of see what it's all about. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up each of these boxes. I'm going to pull out the cards. We're going to go through them pack by pack. And um, afterwards, I'm going to uh, take a break, check out TCG Player, and uh, see what some of them are worth. We're going to come back and kind of go over that, see what see what good pulls we got, and if anything's worth anything. And do you guys see any comments or anything like that that I may pass over doing the opening? Uh, please comment below because. A lot of these cards I'm seeing for the first time, so outside of knowing what a secret rare is and an ultra and so on and so forth, I don't particularly know if one's better than the other. So uh, by all means, if I miss any good rares or commons, please. So with that, let's see what we got. I've seen enough of these box openings now to kind of know. Uh, use a knife, make it easy on yourself. And uh, don't try to overdo it. I mean, I, I don't really mind if the box gets damaged. I'm not going to keep these boxes. I know some people like to, but it doesn't really mean a lot to me. I'm pouring it for the cards and all the fun stuff we get there. So I guess I should go over this first. This box includes four booster packs, four duelist packs, and one mystery blister. So 
kind of a grab bag here. We'll see what we're going to grab first. Okay, here's the mystery pack. We'll come back to that. And then let's pull out the rest here. All right, we got a duelist pack Yugi. So we got a duelist pack Kaiba. Duelist pack Dimensional Guardians. Duelist pack Dimensional Guardians again. And then we're getting into the full packs here. We got Galactic Overlord. Duelist Alliance, Duelist Alliance, and Maximum Crisis. So I've opened up a handful of these packs before in the past, but two plus weeks I've been doing this. Um, mainly Duelist Alliance and Maximum Crisis. Not super familiar with the rest of these. So uh, let's see what we got in the mystery pack. Maybe we get something, maybe a legacy pack that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Legend of Blue Eyes, uh, Spell Ruler. Um, I'd love some Invasion of Chaos or Dark Crisis, but uh, we'll see. And looks like right off the bat we have a Shrine of Mist Valley, and that looks like it's seen better days. Um, first edition, but that's pretty rough shape. Set that off to the side there. And as for the pack, hey, Invasion of Chaos, all right. Um, I'm, hand, I'm, I'm familiar, passingly, with some of the cards in the set. Um, and it's pretty classic, so, you know, I've seen the, uh, the anime and whatnot, so I can, <laughs> I know some of those cards. Um, all right, next we got Chaos Box number, ugh, Chaos Box number two. And if you guys couldn't tell, this is my first video. Um, so really kind of winging it on conversation, uh, box opening. It's totally not stressful or nerve-wracking at all doing this for the first time, especially when you kind of want to make the video as seamless as possible. So, all right here, mystery pack. We got Duelist Alliance, Galactic Overlord, Breakers of Shadow, okay. Dark Saviors, Yugi, Yugi, Kaiba Kaiba. And, last but not least, our final mystery pack includes one rare card. Well, let's hope whatever the card is, it's in better condition than that Shrine of Mist Valley from earlier. Um, and these blister packs are a pain to open, especially if you want to keep what's in there pretty good, good enough shape. Okay, looks like we got a Binary Sorceress. Super rare. So, please let me know below if this card's any good. I mean, I'll, I'll check it out in TCG Player after this. But, um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to tell for me sometimes. And we got a Battles of Legend Light's Revenge. So, got quite a bit to open here. Let's see what we got. We'll start out with, um, we'll save Invasion of Chaos for last. Just, I don't know. may not be the best, but we're going to save it for last. And uh, let's just start with Maximum Crisis right here in the beginning. So, kind of getting the hang of opening this. That right corner seems to be the tricky part from what I've understood from people. All right. Subterra Behemoth Spellageist. Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. BFS Zelos. Phantasm Spiral Rave. Zeph Wrath. I've pulled a handful of those guys so far. Um, pretty common super rare. Performer Pal Yugo Golem. Mild Turkey, Dino Mist Howling, and Cobalt Sparrow. So I'm going to keep the rares and the rares, and the super rares with the super rares. So, a little underwhelming, but you know, that's why you got, I even know how many packs more to go here. Uh, let's go down to Duelist Alliance. Let's see if we got three of these to work with. There's that right corner again. So, if any of you guys have been around the game for a while, let me know what your favorite packs are, your favorite sets, favorite cards. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to see what the community likes. All right, Stellar Knight Alpha, Former Pal Swordfish, Hippo Carnival, and another super rare Bixie Water of the Yang Zing. UA Perfect Ace. All right, another rare. Battle Guard Howling, UA Stadium, Resonance Intact, Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman. Oof. That's a lot to say. So I got my cat down here, Anakin. 
he seems to enjoy the uh, the attacks on the floor. So if I have to take a quick intermission to make sure nothing happens with him, please excuse me. All right, we got another Duelist Alliance here. Artifact Lancia, Yang Zing Prana, Battle Guard Rage, Metaphys Armed Dragon, Graf Malbrance of the Burning Abyss, rare, Fishborg Doctor, Guy of the Midnight Sun, Performer Pal Skeeter Skimmer, and Jin Demolisher of Rituals. So, we're what, three packs in? Three super rares? Well, gosh, two super rares from the packs, and nothing too crazy so far. Nothing that, that great, but plenty more to go, so hopefully it picks up a little bit. I, mean, I don't know, maybe that's just what the ratios are. Like I said, it's been been quite a while and I'm not entirely quite sure what what to expect from these and what the what the ratios are so we got recover battery man 9 volt stellar knight unicahali draco ascension stellar knight skybridge another rare performer pal hip hippo hymn of light battle guard howling and ua stadium all right well those duelist alliance packs were a little underwhelming so I'm going to check on... Alright, we're back. The cat seems to be just fine. And uh, cleaned up some of the packs on the ground. So we can't get into that anymore. So, next we have a Breakers of Shadow. I've opened a handful of these already on some of the other mystery boxes I've gotten. And uh, I don't remember if I've got anything good out of these or not. Okay, Wizard Buster, Disruption Sword. Disruption Swordsman Fusion. Solo, the Melidious Songstress, and Solemn Strike, Secret Rare. Okay, I know that's a good one. I, I've seen stuff about this before. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, we got Reject Reborn, regular rare. Super Heavy Samurai General Coral. Ageon, the Sea Castrum. Twilight Ninja Shingetsu. And another Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. Well, I guess we had a wizard. That was the first one there. Wizard Buster Destruction Sword. So put those commons over there. And uh, now we're going to go down the line again here. Start in the top left. We got Battles of Legend, Light's Revenge, First Edition. I think this is one of those um, five card packs. This is all ultra rares and then one secret rare. Uh, that's what the Battle of Legend Armageddon was that I opened. So I'm assuming this is the same thing. And lo and behold, Trans Modify. Performer Pal, Five Rainbow Magician. Wolf, Light Sworn Beast. Camion, the Time Lord. And Mermail, Abistius. Hmm. Okay. Put the Ultras over here, too. Um, knocking stuff over. Oh, no. Balancing precariously on the edge there. All right. Next, we got Galactic Overlord. Nine card pack. Uh, whatever monster is in the cover, that's pretty cool looking. Oh, come on. Wow, that is. It's not going to go for me. Let's try it on here. Holy crap. There we go. Huh. And that uh, bamboozled me. Okay. Heriactic Seal of Supremacy. Appletile Lagosha. Whew, pardon me, I'm butchering these. Falling Current, got that one. Commander of Swords. Ancient Dragon, rare. Sealing Ceremony of Raiden. Of Raiden. Insector Ladybug. Evil Sword, Darwino. And Hierarchic Seal of the Sun Dragon Overlord. Man, I miss the days of like Summon Skull and Mystical Elf. Pretty, uh, pretty easy to say. So, so far, one secret rare so far that wasn't in one of the Battle of Legends packs, and that was Solemn Strike. So, not a, not a lot so far. Nothing really to write home about. Little, uh, a little bit of a bummer so far. I mean, Solemn Strike, I'm, it's gotta be pretty good, I'd imagine. Oh my gosh, these Galactic Overlord sets are not easy to open up here. Okay, Insector Earwig, Evelite, <laughs> Eveltile Lagosha again, Nitwit Outwit, 
Commander of Swords. Another rare Photon Papular Operative. Evil Sword Darwino again. Light Ray Daedalus. Swallowtail Butterspry and Camera Clops. Well, it looks fun. All right, so a bunch of rares. A little bit of a bummer here, but let, let's try out these uh, Duelist packs. I've never opened these before. So I don't know what to expect with these. I'm assuming they're all Yugi cards or stuff from Yugi's decks. So we got some pretty good stuff in there. I wouldn't mind seeing a Dark Magician or something like that. Green Gadget. Hey, Karibo. Black Luster Ritual. Okay, Super Rare Polymerization. I'll take that. That looks like it's probably a pretty, uh, pretty popular card, I know. And Card of Sanctity. Rare. Okay. So I'm going to assume that Polymerization has got to be a... Uh, That'll be something pretty worth something, right? I don't know. We'll find out later. All right, another one of these Duelist Pack UVs here. Big Shield Gardener. Spellbinding Circle. I remember that back when that was an Ultra Rare. And gosh, was that Spell Roller, maybe? Another Karibo. Yellow Gadget. A Dark Magician Rare. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Love to pull an Ultra or a Secret out of this last pack here for Yugi. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. Do I have the heart of the cards on my side? Thus far, other than that Solemn Strike, I sure don't. Okay. All right, Yugi. Green Gadget. Yellow Gadget. Jack Knight. Spellbinding Circle. Magical Hats. Uh, I remember Magical Hats, too. That was always a treat to play against. So I check it on the cat again there. He's, uh, he's causing some trouble on my carpet. All right. Kaiba. Kaiba, Kaiba. Love the blue eyes cards as a kid. In fact, I remember watching the show and always thinking to myself, like, Kaiba was always the cooler character to me. Yeah, he was. You know, he was uh, wasn't the nicest character. Um, keep this PG for now. But I always thought he was cooler. Liked his cards better. I always thought like, why use a dark magician over a blue eyes? Like looking at the starter decks. I know Summon Skull was pretty great, but I don't know. Dragons always were cool to me. So we got Sagi, White Dragon Ritual, Cloning, X Head Cannon, Cost Down. All right, these Duelist packs. Uh, four down, two to go. And, uh, well, I guess we got interdimensional, dimensional guardians too. But for the character-themed ones, nothing too too great so far. I mean, got some nice commons and rares, I guess. But still, I'd like to see uh, see some more foil there. All right, Ring of Defense, the Tatsumi Giant, Ancient Lamp, Return from a Different Dimension. I've heard that card's pretty good. And Paladin of White Dragon. It looks pretty cool. Don't know much about that card, but it looks cool. I'll take anything with dragons in it. When I've been um, playing Legacy of the Duelist, I made a Red Eyes Black Dragon deck, and I just I love it. Absolutely love it. I can experiment with other decks, but that's one that's really uh, I've really enjoyed to play with so far. So, we've got Z-Metal Tank, Cloning, Judge Man, I remember him, Lord of D, and Petten the Dark Clown. Man, oh man. So, one, what, two foils out of those six packs there. So Yugi and Kaiba weren't that kind to me, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Alright, another duelist pack, Dimensional Guardians. Um, first edition and one I know absolutely nothing about. So this is gonna be a crapshoot for me. Um, this is gonna be one of those that you guys can tell me this common is worth five bucks and it'll just be no worthy idea. So Cypher Mirror Knight, Dark Resonator. Cypher Spectrum, Cyber Angel Vrash, and another rare, Machine uh, Machine Angel Absolute Ritual. All right. Okay. Last Duelist pack. Had eight of them. Two foils. Can we get an Ultra Rare? Can we get a Secret Rare? You know, I don't even know if any of those are even in these Duelist packs, but I think a man can dream. Another Cypher Spectrum, Synchron Resonator, Dark Resonator, Cypher Wing, and Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. So that card looks really cool. But I don't know if the rare version is really worth anything. I think I've seen that played in Legacy of the Duelist quite a bit, though. 
It's a cool looking card. Okay, down to two. So we got Dark Saviors here. And another pack that I know very little about. So, I mean, we pulled one secret rare and one honestly like no ultra rares now that I'm thinking about it. Outside of like the four, you know, gimme ultra rares in that Battle of Legends set. Uh, pull an extra card there. So, gotta be something more than these super rares. Okay, Mystic Tomato. Well, there's a super rare. I mean, I guess all this is. Vampire Familiar. Recon Scout for Hire. I've pulled him before. Drowning Mirror Force. Vampire's Domain. Okay, so that looks like a secret rare if I'm seeing that right, so that's kind of nice. But again, one of these sets that I don't know if you're guaranteed a secret rare or not. I kind of get the feeling you are if you got all those super rares in it. So, last pack here. This is the, the pack I've been waiting to open. Um, I guess I can just hope I've got the heart of the cards. I'm going to get that sweet pool. I'm going to trip my way into a victory here, as Yugi's done so many times. Just bumbling his way into so many victories that, heck, Kaiba should have won those. Anyway, Chaos End, Spatial Collapse, Sacred Crane, Sylphid, Chain Disappearance. Ah, man. Burning Algae, Inferno, The Thing in the Crater, Stealth Bird. So, as of now, pretty underwhelming pulls. I think Solemn Strike is, is going to be the, uh, the heavy hitter there, but... I guess we'll find out. Um, I'll see you guys soon after I... Okay, guys, we're back. And did a little homework. And uh, came to the conclusion that we did not meet, well, at least my goal. I spent about $40 uh, before tax on these two Chaos boxes. Um, so, did not make that back according to TCG Player as of today. Uh, we're looking at maybe 25 bucks. So, you know, not that great, but it was still fun, and that's kind of what this is all about. You know, if you, uh, if you end up making a couple bucks off a pack, then awesome, but, you know, it's, it's about the collection, it's about playing the game, and uh, so, what are you going to do? Well, I figured I'd go over some of the top cards we got here, um, counting down uh, top four because, well, there really wasn't a fifth worth talking about <laughs> that I could find. So, first is... Our good old friend Wolf the Light Sworn Beast. So he ended up clocking in about a buck sixty-eight. So not bad. I mean, for this for this set, not bad. Uh, we got to follow that up with Return from the Different Dimension from that uh, Kaiba set we had there. Um, turns out it's a pretty good card, and I mean, all things considered, for two sixty-nine, not bad. And now uh, number two, kind of had a hunch this would be there, but this alternative art polymerization from the uh, Yugi Duelist pack. Always likes alternative art. Thinks it, I just think it looks fantastic. So uh, that was number two, and I think you can all guess which was number one. And this was a uh, oh I'm sorry I didn't even mention this clocked in at 353 for that polymerization. So paid for the pack at least. And um, we can all kind of assume and guess that Solemn Strike, Secret Rare, was the king of today. Came in at $6.11, current average market price on TCG Player. So very happy with this one. Wish I had some uh, more like it from this set. But, you know, it is what it is. So that was my first video. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to get better at this format. Moving a little bit faster through the packs. Uh, this is um, th this is the first run for a reason. So uh, I hope you again. Hope you guys liked it, and um, I look forward to bringing you more Yu-Gi-Oh videos. And uh, catch you.